when you talk about ego being hurt, I, I had one where I remember setting up a coaching team at one of my one of my places I used to work. There became a lot of operational pressure, let's say. And I built this team up, all coaching. Well, it wasn't coaching actually, but you know, that's another story. I don't want to go into that. What I thought were coaching wasn't coaching. Anyway, it's another story. Operational pressure came to, to bear. And of course, when operational pressure comes to bear, it says, all hands to the pump. Everything else goes out the window. But I was thinking, this is where my ego got involved. And this is why I find it difficult. I was thinking, what is going on? Yes, I know this all this hands to the pump, but this, that's a very short-term solution to a short-term solution. We need a long-term fix. And even though I still, even to this day, I still believe that was the right thing. And then I said, right, if we're going to do this, if you want me to commit to this and I can't invest time in these people to have the long-term gains, then I can't continue running this coaching team. And then they decided we're getting rid of the coaching team. And I went, oh my God, this is terrible. And that's what happened. And I, had, I, I invested loads of stuff into it. I put every, all everything into it, but then I, they just abandoned it. They just got rid of it. I went, oh my God. And I found it so hard. And I think the learning from me is, from this is, although sometimes big organizations aren't going to agree with you, what you can take, what I took from it is that I gained a lot of skills from doing that. And that sent me on my path to my coaching journey. Although I didn't agree with the decision, I understand why they did it. Although I thought, still think to this day, it's still a short term view. Though I understand they need to do certain things. Really, maybe what I could have done, what could I have done differently? I maybe could have said, hey, instead of, instead of saying, we've got to stop this, I could have said, well, maybe we could do some sort of version of it and keep the thing alive, keep it alive in some way, shape or form, but I didn't. I almost felt panicked a little bit. This was back in the day and I, I suppose my experience wasn't quite there where I almost reacted emotionally rather than had that emotion, but respond instead of, like I talk about all the time, right? Respond instead of reacting to it. And this was my baby, I loved it, I built it. It was great people invested in it, but, but what I felt, I think, I felt a bit of betrayal because the people, some people had supported it when this got started, pressure from high above started saying we've got to get do this done everything else seemed to go out the water instead of actually saying actually this stuff is really good for long term but hey look i can't change that i had no control over that so that was not my decision and that's what you're talking about that decision where it's out of your hands where i, I still struggle with that to a bit because i i struggle with that still to this day a little bit, but i've got to really check myself to go hey that is out of my control that is nothing i control that i've just got to go with it and in fact a lot of the things that i see well, this is the vision right and we talked about this before that I'd like this to happen. I'd love it to happen this way, but I've got to let go of that specific version of it and let it adapt and roll. And that's that's what I, that's the learning that I got from this particular lesson. One, to let go. Two, to have a different version of it. It may not be the version that I thought it would be, but have a different version. It may have been better that we if I'd done that. But I just will never know now because we just basically got rid of it. Um, but then, you know, we're leading to all this, right? So I'm just trying to say to people here, you know, on, on TikTok, so hi there, Andrea, appreciate you and all the people who are live here on the um, recording of YouTube that don't don't try and be very be, have an overall vision but be okay with it adapting because it may be something that's even better and in fact I think where I am right now in terms of what we're trying to do is better and we're doing this as well which is better so all in all it's working out okay but at the time I really felt angry <laughs> I felt frustrated and I wish I'd had something like you guys to come and talk to or, you know, to give me a little bit of balance to say, look, it's, look, just go with it. Just do what you can at this moment, but do this, but just do what you can and just keep it going in some way, shape or form. That's if I, if I could have given myself advice, then that's the advice I would have given to myself right now. I would say, just go with it, but just keep it alive in some way, shape or form. It might be a smaller version of it, but keep it going because that's your, you know, your thing, your passion the thing that's going to you know contribute in the long run they'll probably see that actually when when that initial fire is put out that actually going back into that is going to be a good long-term game so actually i've just thought that through thank you guys <laughs> thank you ryan for this question because that's taught me through actually a thought process of actually doing it. so thank you yeah I, I think it's a really good subject by the way so thank you ryan yeah <laughs>